Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing this evening? It is coffee time, and it is supper time, and it is springtime here again. Now, I don't think I'm fooled by it because I know some of them winters will creep up on us because it ain't May the 10th yet. I don't claim spring till May the 10th, till after Mother's Day. After Mother's Day, then I'll buy into the spring game. But until then, I'm leery. I'm very leery. I think, hmm, this could end tomorrow. We could have, this could all end in a hurry. We could have winter in the morning. Who knows? We're in East Tennessee, and that's just way East Tennessee X. And I realize that. Mama's been struck by spring fever this whole day. So, she is outside. She's here. She ain't gone. Um, she's out there, and she's got... Uh, one of our friends is out there helping do porch furniture, and I come home. There was a working going on here, like the likes you ain't seen in ever. All the furniture's out in the yard. Mama's working, and uh, they're fixing it up. And they're, you know, just painting it, freshening it up. Nothing major, just retouching, finishing it all up. We ain't gonna get no cooking out of her today. So, I'm gonna make some pizzas. For that reason, because it's just one of those days with the, another reason is, I'm just wanting some good pizzas. We got to talking the other day about veggie pizzas. I don't know if it was us or if it was uh, at work, but I love a veggie pizza. So I'm going to make a veggie pizza, and I'm going to make a pizza here with, um, I think there's some meat sauce in the sauce. So it's not a veg. I'm not trying to be vegetarian pizza. I just love good vegetables. Piled high on a pizza, and it baked to perfection. It's one of my favorite little quick snacks, and I'm using my favorite. Well, hold it up right, John. I'm using my favorite extreme um, tortilla shells. I like them. I like them. They make good pizzas. They make good burritos. They're just a good little, what was that? Mama might have been in this bag. Looks like, looks like she's got a half of one up or something. I might need that to patch a hole in a minute. Um, so, I don't know if Mama will eat this vegetable pizza or not. Because, um, I'm going to put onions on it. But I'm going to make one without onions. So this is the um, same kind of brand, but this is the tomato basil. And Mama likes the tomato basil ones. So let's just twist these around on here to the best we can. It's okay if they overlap on our pan here. It's warm outside. It's sunshine. It's windy. That's where I've been outside. I look like I've been through a windstorm because I have been. So what are y'all having tonight? Do you ever just have... Those simple, simple little suppers where you think, I ain't cooking tonight. I'm, well, this is cooking, but I mean, you know, I ain't doing nothing big. Something's wrong with y'all tonight. Come on, man. Let's get you taller. Yeah, because if I don't put you tall, you can't see here. So this is just, this is meat sauce. This is Hunt's pasta sauce. But I'm going to do my own little thing to it. So I'm just going to open this up. Uh, I could have, I looked for some plain tomato sauce, and I was just going to do all homemade, but didn't find it. So, I'm just going to do this meat sauce here, and I'll have a little leftover because you don't put that much on there. I was going to put some tomato paste in it when I was going to do homemade, and fix it up that way, but now that I'm not doing homemade using the can. Oh, there's a more in that can than I thought. You want to get it all out too. You don't want to waste no goodie. Okay. Well, good thing I'm going to put much in there because it's about full. I'm going to taste this. I've forgotten what this tastes like. I'm going to taste it and see what it needs. Mm. 
Needs a little, little, little seasoning. So I'm going to give it some. I'm just going to put some Italian seasoning in it. This is what I would put in my homemade tube. Brings it out. How much are you going to put, John? Enough. I'm just going to give it a shake, shake. I'm going to start with a tablespoon. I think a tablespoon will get this up to where I want it. Because this was just Hunt's pasta sauce with meat. I don't see any meat in this. Meat flavored. So it's don't have meat in it. It just probably has meat grease or something starting out with it or something. Because I start to say, I don't sit on meat. Let's just stir him in good. I just got home a little while ago. And like I said, they're out there. Mama's supervising. But I believe she's gone now to find some more stuff to do. Because I just heard him say um, something about cleaning out a building. You know, Mama's had that building down there that she's got full of Christmas stuff. And um, she's been wanting to clean it out, so I guess that's what's on the agenda. Hmm. Needs a little something. Maybe some salt. And maybe some black pepper. Yeah, this is my little homemade touch to it. And maybe another shake shake of that. Let's see. I think I'm going to also put... Hold on just a second. I'm going to put a little bit of this Y'all Southern Secret Onion and Garlic. Because I don't want to put garlic powder, but I think it needs a touch of garlic. So whatever's in here, I'm going to put about a good heaping teaspoon of that in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of ranch. Because ranch makes everything taste tasty. And that'll help thicken it a little bit. So this is y'all's brand ranch and y'all's brand southern secret. If you don't have that, you could use whatever you have. I'm just trying to get this to have a good pizza taste to it. I do this most time when I use a canned sauce unless it's, we add flavors. We add a little profile to it. And you got to remember, when you're using dried sauce or dried spices, they do get a little stronger when the heat comes on. So we may be looking at that too. Ah, that's good sauce. That's what I was looking for, that little hint of whatever. So let's get to topping our pizzas. I'm going to cut this one in half because it just don't fit on my pan and we're using an easy bake tonight and it'll only hold so much. And that little scrap, he's just down there for good measure. In fact, I think I'll just bring him right on in there. Kind of make one pizza with the end that doesn't have the onion and Mama can choose from it. Okay, let's just pour, put our sauce in. It's going to, not going to take much sauce, but that's the can I had. You could use a smaller one. You can get frozen pizzas that are delicious, but once you start making them like this, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a frozen pizza as good as your own put-together pizza. Because these are just good. 
and they're not hard. If you get the right kind of sauce, you don't have to doctor it much. And you may have kids and you think, I ain't doctoring it any because they barely will eat the regular pizza sauce. Well, that's fine too. But you want to put enough on there that it'll be good. Mom will be glad to come in and have supper ready. Because she's fixing, it's 616. She's out there right now thinking, what are we going to eat tonight? We've got to come up with something to cook. And she'll be surprised. Mama made me a homemade chocolate cake yesterday, y'all. It's wonderful. Um, we've eaten around on it. Mama won't show it probably because it's not its perfection. We'd already eaten last night before we even come on. So. But it was just a half a chocolate double layer cake. Uh, but she made it from scratch. I wasn't here, so y'all didn't get to see it. If I had been here, we could have filmed it. And I've told Mama, Mama, just turn the camera on and record, and then I'll upload it. I'm not doing that if you're not here. Okay, Mama. So I'm putting peppers on this side. These are sweet peppers, so Mama will like them. So I'm putting a few on this side. What are y'all eating today? I hope it's something delicious and, and good, good and delicious. Now this is some onion. This is that sweet Texas onion that uh, somebody sent us. And this is the same one. This onion was huge. And we've just saved it and saved it. This mama put in a Ziploc bag. It's a little dry. She should have put it in a fridge smart. <coughs> Excuse me. These allergies, folks, I don't go outside because they've mowed. It's just crazy around here. Everybody's got the fever. They've got tractors out mowing. They've got lawnmowers out mowing. Everybody's clearing off fields. It's a lovely time of the year, unless you got allergies to grass. And my allergies to grass has really kicked up in the past four years. Mm. I think I'm going back to my childhood when I used to have to take Benadryl twice today. Well, there comes the lonely little puppy. Hello, Mama. I've got your supper started. I know. I told him you'd be excited. Tell him what you've been out there doing. Oh, burning brush and... <laughs> Mama, your hair. <laughs> don't you get me on there. Don't you get me on there. Come over here, Mama. They don't care. They know you've been outside. Lord, your hair's got that March look to it, Mama. Well, it was windy out there. Look how pretty you look out there, burning brush. What are you out there and you get clothes for? You should be you should be wearing your school clothes outside to play. Oh. I've uh, heard that my whole life. Yeah, we never was allowed. So to tell them what you're up to. I told them you're out there having them paint furniture. Well, he's a painting, and I've been a uh, working. I got my bed all cleaned up. Your flower beds the or your garden, garden bed? bed? I had part of it planted those potatoes. Look what I saved you, Mama. Here's a napkin full of seeds. Little sweet pepper seeds. We'll save that. I'll try them. We planted them last year and they grew and they did good, didn't they, Mama? Yeah. Now, Mama, I've got an onion going here, but it's sweet Texas. And I've got your little section right here uh, with just the sweet peppers. You're okay with that? Yeah, just put it on there. You'll eat the onion, the sweet yeah, onion? Yeah, I may not eat much of it. No Have you eaten, Mom? I ate earlier. That's all I've done today. So. Mama did eat earlier. She had to take me early this morning. And I was meeting at a Hardee's, which that's good for Mama. And, um, Mama, what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> Biscuit and gravy. Oh, how'd that sugar turn out today? It was pretty. And then I got a steak biscuit to eat for lunch. So well, I, good job, Mama. I had my fill of food today. I had to meet today for work. Um, it's just one of those days you don't have to do e extras. And uh, so Mama had to drive so I could ride with someone else. And it's just been one of those times. And so she got up early and I took her. I actually got up before breakfast. 
Got up before breakfast this morning, she says. Folks, here's where we're at so far. I know you're off her king six. The mama said that sweet Texas was good, so I'm just making one big pizza now. We changed. Mama, this tomato was laying here. Is this like today's? That's the one you ate. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so that's good. That other one over here. I'm just going to save this one because I'm going to put these little ones on there. These little well, grapes. And they're that sweet. other nice sliced wasn't good. I it's see. Sweet. You see it? Yeah, are we going to get the seeds out of it? We're planting everything. We are planting anything that we cut and it's got a seed. Guess what? We are planting it. And Mama's found some new potting soil. What's it called? Just that miracle grow. No, you said something about somebody or Aunt. Oh, the star of plants was a. Uh, Can they hear you? I don't know what. Can you hear her? It's anyway. It's a plant starter. Plant starter potting soil. Did y'all know about that? Is that something new, or is that what's me and Mama's like to the show? <coughs> You got out there and got the allergies. Yeah, now you probably come in here. Are you allowed to burn, Mama? I did. I don't know if I was allowed to or not. She might have broke the law. Did you hear any sign? No. No, I didn't. It wasn't a big Folks, I can't see y'all's comments this far away. And I can't make pizza and read. So y'all have to hold on while these are baking. We'll have us a good little chat. And I'm just putting, these are just fresh tomatoes. Mama, I wasn't planning on putting any meat on here. Do you want any? Uh, no. Do you want me to get, there's a piece of breakfast sausage in there. Well, you can put it. You want it on here? You want it. I don't want it. I'm like I said, I'm bringing all the meat Are you afraid of my cooking now, Mama? No, I'm just, I'm a little fool. Huh? Because you eat biscuits and gravy. And yeah, I We lost our hearties here in Jellico about, well, several years back. So we have to go round trip about 40 miles to get to hearties now. So it was a treat for Mama this morning. You know, she got up early. There was no, it was like, oh, we're going to hearties, she said. <laughs> you know you live... You know you live in uh, the rural area when going to Hardee's is like, yay. Now, she probably wouldn't want to go in the morning, but every once in a blue moon, she does like it. We miss our Hardee's. Hardy, if you're out there listening, which I'm sure you guys are watching Hardee's, surely you guys would watch me and Mama. But if you guys are out there, could you bring our hearties back? The building's still there. All you have to do is just come in, dust a little bit, and open her back up. We'd like to have it. Looks yummy so far, doesn't it? I love a good veggie pizza. I love that. I love just piles of veggies. And um, what do y'all put on your veggie pizzas? What have you been in the refrigerator like I do? Um... Good evening. Hello, Danny. How are you? And hello, uh, Dorinda. How are you? Happy birthday. Thank you, Dorinda. Uh, watching from Teleco Plains. Well, hello, Michelle. How are you? So that is onions, tomatoes, and sweet peppers. Just them little sweet peppers. And I think that's all I'm going to put on it. Can y'all think of something else? Should I throw an olive or two on there? I got them over here. I brought them over here just to see what y'all would say. Just to see if y'all would say, oh, live, oh, live. Mama don't like olives, but I'm going to put some on my end. And I'm just going to slice them, three, make three little slices out of each olive. Just to have a little salty veggie on here. Now, like I said, I'm not going to cover, cover, just... Just a few, just a few, just like this. Maggie, would you like pizza today? Pepperoni pizza? Yes, ma'am, I'm sure you would. Maggie loves her pepperonis. I may have to get her in a 12-step program for pepperonis, because she's going to, she, 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 
She's a little too excited for them. When I let her in at night, that's when she gets her midnight snack, we call it. She gets them through the day. Mama lets her have them a couple of times, but not when she's letting her out. Only when she's letting out does she get them at night. Because she had a bad habit of wanting to go out there and listen to the crickets and listen to the frogs. And you'd be out there 30, 40 minutes before Maggie would light somewhere, you know? So I found she went out one night and did real good, real quick, real fast, you know, within 10 minutes or 20. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give her a little treat. She's been so good. And uh, I got her spoiled to it. And so now she goes out. She pretty well gets her business done and gets back in here because she's like, I, I've got a better treat than these frogs in there. And I'm going to hurry and get in there and get to it. So now I've just put a few little olives around on there. Just made it pretty. Look at that. Now this could be the piece de la resistance. I picked these up at the store. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. And they're the they're already pre-made. You know, they're like this. I'm just gonna dab these little mozzarellas all over here with these veggies. And they're just you just peel them off. They're already rolled up for you. And I'm gonna dabble them all over this pizza. Just like this, and it's gonna to have to be good. It's fresh mozzarella. I mean, you're talking about gourmet pizza here. Gourmet style. Mama, where are you at? You're gonna go brush your hair. She says she's been burning in the fields. Sometimes I call Mama Ruth. You're going to go take a shower? Yes, sir. You're going to come back? <laughs> she ain't going to stand it. You're going to come back before we leave? I don't know if I can shower that time. You're going to come in here and tell the folks bye? What now? Well, this will be the time if you're going to go shower now. Oh, I know you, Mama. I've lived with you before. I know how you are. I know you ain't gonna... I didn't realize I was out there that night. I bet you, depending on the way you're dressed, mm -hmm. you didn't plan on doing none of that, did you? Well, I was checking on the wind and... And, I, and you got out there and you thought, well, I'm just gonna go ahead. Might as well do it, is what I said. <laughs> I and a little bird told me um, to check the weather. You're wanting to clean out a building? Oh, he's done done that. He's wanting to do it Saturday. Uh huh. I don't know if I can work hard all them days in a row. You don't have to. Just tell him what to burn or what to throw away. Yeah. Um. So is that what's on the agenda? I think so. You want to spread No, thank you. I don't want to. She's touch. hard to please. Don't want to touch nothing or do nothing until I go clean up. So I'm just going to say goodbye and God bless you inside. Say until we meet again because you might be back in here before That's this like gets to the bacon. Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. What did they say? They sang a song, goodbye until we meet again. Oh, well we don't own the rights to that. No, we sure don't. We don't own the or, or whatever else she said. <laughs> we, we don't own the rights to whoever that was. So, cowboy. They were actually man and wife. You don't remember Roy? Ah, now I've heard of them. Oh, that makes me really old, don't it? Is that that museum we went to out west? Yeah. Trigger was the horse and he had him mounted. Yeah, we went to that museum. Uh, it's no, no we don't in hold, we don't have the rights. To it's no longer in existence. Is it not? No. I read that it was uh, shut down. Ah. Well, we didn't have the rights to shutting it down either. No. So I don't think it takes it. So right. this is... I'm going to go. Goodbye, everybody. I'll have your supper ready when you get cleaned up. Right. Do you want me to make you something else? No, I smell like a fire bug. Well, I'm not sure. A fire bug. Look here, Mama. You're knocking that off and I knocked this off, so you're going to have to come up with something to do with these crushed pineapples. Uh... What did you do with it? It came off your shelf in there.
You put them on the pizza? No, I ain't putting pineapples on the pizza. No. Would y'all put pineapples on a veggie pizza? Maybe a ham and pineapple pizza, but not veggie. Would you? Let's vote. We'll eat pineapples and Roy and Dale Rogers. Yes, and we don't own any of those rats. We'll get in all kinds of trouble. We can't be talking about stuff and singing stuff. And... Are you fussing at me? No. No, Mama. i am just made it clear that we don't, in case no. somebody... So here it is, folks. That's the pizza pizza. And I put Italian cheese on there while my mom was talking. This is just for pretty. And it will probably not be as pretty. I may have to put a little bit more. So I'm just going to barely put a little bit of parsley on there. Just to give us the idea that it looks more pizza-y. And it might get brown. Don't judge me if it does. Because I'm just putting it on there right now. It looks pretty. But sometimes when you put that parsley in there, it burns, so it browns. But now look how pretty it is going in the oven. That's what we're looking for. Going in the oven, it looks beautiful. Let's put them in the oven. Don't you? Come on now. Uh, I almost got too much pizza for the oven. Almost too much pizza for the oven, folks. Let's set our timer for 12 minutes on 350. Are y'all alright with that? 12 minutes, 350? I've got a mess here. Mama will get me. She'll say, you didn't clean that up as you went. <clears throat> Sorry, Mama. I meant to. I will. Let's just... Maggie. Maggie. That's enough. She sees him out there painting. And she's wanting to get out there, too. But he'll, she'll be painted if she does. Did you use four tortillas as your crust? No, actually... Tarina, I used one, I've got the empty bags, one in a piece. I think Mama did in this bag and probably pinched her off one because it was one in a piece. And it was this right here, extreme. And it um, was just one in a piece and one of the tomato basil one, and it was just cut in half. I thought I seen something foul off that bag when I picked it up. Well, if it did, I don't see what it was. Better not have went to night coffee, is all I'm saying. No, nope, it did, but uh, a little pepper seed has. I wonder what coffee would do for a pepper seed. Like, soak it in there. All right, we're going to see what that pizza does. Uh, I, I stopped y'all. This is... Uh, John shredded, shredded lettuce is delicious on Ooh. I just had a thought. I have some spinach in there. Yes to pineapple on veggies, Russell. Christy was it Christy Russell? Thank you for the stars, Tina. Um sorry. Homemade pizza is good. It is. It is. Now, frozen pizza, I'm not against it. And I have been known to, but I just don't have a brand that I really like right now. Um, um, Walmart has a brand named Sam's, and it's pretty good. But I don't have any of them. Because I ain't been to the big store in like ages. I've been avoiding it. It's just going down there. No, no pineapple. No, I, I like pineapple, okay, Michael, on... Um, pineapple ham and cheese but I don't, I don't want them a veggie for some reason it's my birthday today Dennis well happy birthday Dennis I hope you enjoyed yours I did I did and I'm enjoying today too hi from Chicago Janice how are you how's the weather up there hi John from Western Virginia hey Karen how are you chicken wings now, Ooh, chicken is good on pizza. I like barbecue chicken pizza. 
In fact, I had that cooked chicken in there. I could have done a barbecue chicken pizza. Let's just let it cook. I ain't going to add spinach or chicken. That's that, that kind of pizza anyway. All right, so I am having vegetable soup homemade. Oh, surely that sounds good. I like vegetable soup anytime. Fourth of July be a good time for vegetable soup for me. Happy belated birthday. Well, hey, Doris. Thank you. Hey, Julie. How are you? Yes, pineapple on pizza. I'm from uh, Waterford, Mississippi. Andrea. It's not my favorite. I ain't going to lie to you. It's pineapple on pizza is not my favorite. Even ham. But that's the only one I would consider it on would be ham and pineapple. North Carolina checking in. Well, hey, Teresa. Thank you for checking in. Hey, Tammy. Pineapple and Canadian bacon. Deborah, yeah, that is good. Uh, Don Pepperono. Is that a good brand of pizza? That's my dad's name. Not, well, the Don part. Not the, not the Pepperono. I'll try to remember that name. Chicken and bacon ranch pizza. That is delicious. Chicken and bacon and ranch is delicious. And I will make one of those before long. Um, never have made one. I eat those at a, at a pizza place here in our county. It is good. It is real good. Happy birthday, uh, Jellico, Tennessee. Well, Lena, Lena, are you from Jellico, Tennessee? You're right here at home. Just have to say, I love your accent, John. John, are you saying I got an accent? I don't have one, do I? I don't reckon. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. I know I got an accent. Um, I don't hear it. I think other people have one, but I haven't heard mine, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Um, we had deconstructed Ed Rose. Oh, Vicky. I love Egg Roll in a Bowl, deconstructed Egg Roll. I love all that. I love those, and they're easy. Did you use coleslaw mix? If you didn't, Vicky, use it. It's got your carrots. It's got your slaw already mixed up, grated up. It's so easy with a good bag of Dole or any brand of coleslaw mix. Burger King Whopper for dinner tonight. Isn't it great, Pamela, just to be able to run by somewhere and get something? Um, I like that sometimes. Just simple and easy. Canadian bacon, pineapple. S Wait a minute. Joan. Canadian bacon, pineapple, and cinnamon sl almond slices? Are you telling me you put cinnamon on your bacon, Canadian bacon, pineapple pizza? Hmm. Sausage mushroom pizza is my favorite. Tammy, that sounds good. That is one of my favorites, too. Like, if you're saying, I'm ordering pizza, what you want, I'll say just some sausage and cheese is fine. Or pepperoni. I don't care. I don't want green peppers. That's the only thing I usually say. Like, if they're ordering pizza at work and they're ordering a couple or so, um, they'll say, what do you want? I say, it don't matter to me. I just don't want green peppers on anything. Now, he put sweet peppers on that one tonight. I know he did. I've seen him. But they're different than green. The sweet ones are good. Um, I don't know. It's just the, the green peppers have just got a bitterness to them. The red and yellow and... And <clears throat> orange ones, I think they're good on a pizza or on a sandwich. Um, I love green bell peppers. Now, don't go out and start any rumors that I don't like green peppers because I do. I do. Raw on a pimento cheese sandwich. Love it. I love them um, on, I ain't even crazy about them in salsa, but they'll slip them in every once in a while. But that to me, it just when I taste a pizza with green pepper on it, that's all I taste is green pepper. It's like a green pepper pizza. Uh, everything else is, is just in there, but that green pepper, I taste it. Chicken pizza, leftover coleslaw. Oh, that sounds good. Who said that? Kitch ch oh, chicken cacciatore. Well, hey, Trina, that sounds good. I like banana pepper. I do too, Debbie, on pizzas. I've got to get banana peppers. This is twice I could have used some good pickled banana peppers and I was out. Where's Mama? She's in there cleaning up, Deborah. She, um, it's pretty here today. Like real pretty, like spring pretty. 
and she got out there. Um, we've got a guy here painting furniture, porch furniture. We like to paint it every other year just to keep it up so it don't have to be completely redone. Just, you know, put a little white paint on it, a little black on the broad iron. Uh, you don't want your broad iron to start rusting because then you have another issue. So um, he's out there doing that. She went out there watching him in Boston and started piddling around. You know how you do. Chasing rabbits, you'll see this. And evidently, she's burnt some brush or something. But she wasn't dressed. You can ask the people who was here earlier. She wasn't dressed for outside work. So I know what she did is she went out there piddling around and seen that stuff and thought, well, I'm here. Might as well do it. Um, getting cleaned up. Thank you, Nellie. That's what she's doing. And, you know, she's come in and she smells like smoke, she says. I didn't smell any smoke on her. But she says she smells like smoke, so she wants to go clean up and I thought I was going to get her supper ready. My goal was I'd have her supper ready. She'd come in. She could sit down and we could eat. Y'all could visit with her a while. But I didn't know she was going to come in and have to go clean that pretty good. But she did say hi to everybody before she ran off. I'm going to start cleaning up this mess. So I'm going to pull that pizza out and sling it out here and get ready to eat. And if Mama comes back in here and sees this mess, she'll say something like, well, you didn't even clean that up. Because Mama cleans as she goes. You all have seen her. Now, she'll deny it. But you all have seen her take knives out of my hands and move my cutting board while I'm still cutting on it, trying to clean. Now, some of y'all have been here a while. You all know that's the truth. But Mama does that. Hey, you saw that cheese. This was just natural cheese. Uh, Italian stuff. <clears throat> but that's what Mama does. And I love it. I love it when she cleans and carries on because that's just what, who Mama is. If I can tell she's not feeling well, she's sitting down or she's lit like a butterfly. Because the most part, she's flying at all times. She's flying at all times. She don't ever light. And that's what's happened outside. I, could, I wasn't out there. I wasn't even home. But I could, I can tell you, even, out going, even without going back and looking at the cameras, I can tell you exactly what she did. She got out there. She was watching him paint. She was saying, telling him, here, you can paint this. Why don't you paint this? Because she's got stuff out there. And then... She sent her some twigs and stuff. You know, they'll fall over the winter. And she's gathered them up and thought, I'm going to pile these up and we'll burn them. And then she thought, well, while I'm out here, I might as well go ahead and burn these. And she's got her little burn pile going and wasn't even planning on doing Because I know her mama does. Pizza, pizza, happy, happy. All about uh, you, Day John. Deborah? Well, thank you. It's all about pizza today. My dad used to make homemade pizzas for us growing up. Did he use... Oh, they're done. Did he use a homemade crust or did he make his own? You know, some of those crusts you make at home are just wonderful. I do that clean up like Mama... Yeah, I do too when I'm not talking to y'all. You know, I'll make a mess, clean it up, move on. Because I don't like the mess at the end. I don't like it uh, gommed up. Hey Jenny, how are you? If you're if you're alive, I watched your what? Your outside of Karen, we are live right now on March the thirtieth at six forty five. Uh, yeah, I posted the soda salad because a lot of y'all was wanting to make it for Easter. And I know this Sunday's Palm Sunday. So some folks have their big dinners on Palm Sunday and some folks have their big dinners on Easter. And I knew we wouldn't get it made before Palm Sunday. We might make it Easter. Um, but the soda salad is a popular, popular Easter dish. And so I, I wanted to put the recipe on there for y'all. And that was the day I was sick anyway. And um, I couldn't get Mama to do anything by herself. I said, Mama, won't you just 
you know, I don't have to talk. I can just, no, no. So that's what I'm going to post this sort of salad recipe because some people well, already asked for it for Palm Sunday. I ordered a cookbook from y'all today. Well, thank you, Regina. We still do have church cookbooks uh, if anybody's interested. And I'm trying to talk Mama into starting her own. I'd love to have a Mama cookbook in print. I've got a Mama cookbook. Y'all have seen it. The big, white, bound, three-inch binder. Papers going everywhere. Wouldn't open it for nothing because it explodes. <laughs> and uh, But I'd love to have one in print with her picture on the front of it. That would just mean so much to me. Um, and just to know that she had a published cookbook out there. So I said, Mama, we've got to get started. She said, oh, we don't know. I don't know. I hate to do a cookbook. Right. I said, Mama, come on. So I'm talking her into it. We'll see how that goes. Well, thank you, Tina, for the happy birthday wishes. Hello, John and Mama. I make homemade pizzas all the time. Jamie, they're good, and they're easy. And you can make them whatever size you want to make them. You can buy those small individual uh, tortilla shells, or you can make them on a large and cut them in half or cut them in fourths. That works fine. If you don't want to buy the small ones, just get the large one, cut them in fourths, and give everybody equivalent of two slices and that's a good way to make them too uh that would be so special it would nancy um i would love to have that uh, um happy birthday john well thank you brenda i'm going to make your sada salad for easter it's delicious donna you you know uh, we've made it for years and years. My granny made it. Mama tells the story about they went to a church one time. They had it, and, and they gave them the recipe, and they've made it ever since, and that's been 35, 40 years ago. So it was long years ago. Mama is about 60 years old. Fred, Mama is about 75, going to be in August. Mama's 74. She may look 60, but she's 74. Uh, Mama's whole family, all of her sisters, look young. They, um, her oldest sister um, died when she was 73. Someone's at the door. Hold on just a second. Come on in. That time, that time, here we go. I'm gonna put it right here where y'all can see it. Mm, it melted. You know, that parsley looks good on there. All our mozzarella melted, our Italian cheese melted. Look at that. Let's get it over here. I want y'all to see. Look at there. It. Let I me mean, let's just look at this beauty. Can you see it? Let me get some plates. We're gonna do fancy china tonight. Fancy as it gets. You don't get no fancier than the fancy china that you get right here. Look at that. All right, let me grab this knife. And I'm just going to cut. Hmm. I'm just going to cut a little piece right here. And I'll cut it in squares. Maggie, I know you smell this. I know you smell it, girl. Are you wanting pizza? Or you just want whatever we're eating up here? What would what would it be, Maggie? Um, 
I'm going to take a little sample and tell y'all what it tastes like. But I'm going to wait for Mama before I eat supper. All right, let's take a little sample. There it is. Let's see what it tastes like. Now, when Mama comes in, we'll bless it and we'll eat it. But I'm going to just sample so she gets here. I wouldn't eat without Mama and her just getting ready. Well, it smells wonderful. The sauce, the, all those blends of seasonings, and I'll put the link to the y'all's brain in the comments. But all the seasonings and all the fresh vegetables, you can just smell them. And they just smell wonderful. I'm going to let that cool for a second because it was bubbling. It was literally bubbling when I brought it out of there. But you can see the parsley held up. Can y'all see that beautiful green homemade? Made it pretty, did I think it did. So let's give it a try. And I'm going to tell you if it's success or not. Mm -hmm. That's a success. That is delicious, y'all. And I think Mama will even eat it because it's got some of her favorites. She loves roasted tomatoes and mozzarella. And it's got plenty of that in there. And she doesn't mind the onions too bad. And I didn't put them as heavy on her end. And uh, I just put olives on my end. She's going to love it. At least she's going to eat a little bite of it. She says she's eating too much today. But I doubt that. I doubt that. Uh, but she did enjoy getting to go to Hardy's this morning. Well, here she is. She's back. Mama? Yeah. They was... Uh, Surprise. They thought I was going to eat without you, and they told me not to. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know say, I wouldn't eat without you, don't you? They said, go ahead and eat. Don't you wait. know I wouldn't, don't you? No, you never would eat without your dad. Do I ever eat without you, Mom? No. Even, Every once in a great even, time. I mean, if, if you're not I here. Eat, if I don't eat. If you're not. I mean, I'll eat when you're not eating, because, goodness, I'd starve to death if I would eat <laughs> you. But, like, when we're eating a meal, we always Ooh. eat together, don't we? That was a quick change. Well, I cleaned up a little. Now, Mama, that shirt you took off looked more fancier than this one. Well, this I is... I mean, that one's pretty enough. This is just the most sweatshirt. Well... I wasn't dressing to come to the wars. I was dressing Sit down here and we'll bless this and you need a piece of pizza. Well... You want something to drink? I'll get me something in a minute. I'll get you something. Oh, that's all right. You want your Sprite that you can turn over or anything? Turn over. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna have to get my bottle up safer with him. <laughs> you wanna go get us a sprite? I will. Replace Once it. you talk to him a minute, catch I'll up. Catch up, and I'll run and get us a sprite. Here, let's bless it, and you can eat, and I'll get us. This is a trick, folks. I fell for this one before. <laughs> Dearly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies. And dear Lord, we just pray that you'll bless us and bless all the people around the world. Dear Lord, we just pray that you put a hedge of protection around everyone and our children as they go to school. Dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with our country and our nation, our leaders, and all those leaders around the world. Dear Lord, be where all the, remember all the prayer requests that have been turned in, those spoken and unspoken. In your precious name, we pray and ask all these things. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama, I did sample without you. I did, uh... I do have to smell better. I don't smell like smoke. Oh, I didn't smell smoke earlier. I couldn't. Well, I could. I could smell it. I, you couldn't prove to me that you had been to a fire. No. You want a can Sprite? Or yeah, but I'll go get them. Won't you sit down and rest? I'm going to rest and not do nothing else. <laughs> well, you don't have no dishes to worry about. That's great. You know what? That ain't going to come out there just right. That ain't want to just dip up so easy. And I don't want to lose all the toppings. Don't want to lose all your toppings. Now that would be bad. Alright, come up from there. Mmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. That fresh mozzarella. You can't beat good fresh mozzarella. Mama, this got your favorites. Fresh mozzarella and tomatoes. I did put olives. I know you're going to see them on mine. But I didn't put them on yours. Because I know how you are. You'll say, I saw those olives you tried to slip in on me. Go, well, thank you, ma'am. I might not drink that. I don't know. I'll see. I've got coffee. You want a fork or you're going to try it? Um, let's get a fork. That was a taster spoon. A taster spoon. I may be wrong, but I believe you're going to like it. You Look at your cheese. Oh, I know. Just Scrambled Yeah. That taste I sampled was awful good, Mama. Was the sample good? The sample was good. That's how they get you in the stores. They have you sampling stuff sometimes. It's Should I meet you back there in the hallway and said, Here, ma'am, sample this? <laughs> that would have helped. And you just said, Yes, I'll take some. Would that have helped you? It might have. <laughs> you give them the verdict. It's good. They watch me close. Daddy put too much spices in it. He didn't, did he? <laughs> it's very good, folks. Give it a whirl. <laughs> give it a whirl. If you get your own sauce. You can get it. You don't have to even doctor it up like I did this. But if you do doctor it up, you see what I put in this. And all those flavors just married together so good. That ranch and the... I put a little ranch in it, Mama. I figured that. Because I put it in everything. You now. use ranch on everything. Mm -hmm. You're addicted to it. I love the onions. Mm-mm. That's extra good, Mama. Mama, are you going to do shift two or are you going to rest now? I'm going to rest and go to bed after a while. And I hope I can get up tomorrow and do some more. What was your schedule last night? You, you was up late and got up early. I left you sitting in the living room. And I woke up, and you was in the kitchen. Did you, <laughs> did you go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> I went to bed and watched some television. You was so excited about getting to Hardy's this morning. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was like a trip. Mm -hmm. My granny could never sleep the night before any trip, even to like a, to the city. Even like if she was just going for the day and going to come back, she could not sleep. And uh, she was so excited about going. And like, if she was going on a vacation, no, nobody slept for days. She was so excited. Mm -hmm. And her name was Lena. Does my hair look like the March Winds had a hold of it? No, mine does, because mine has. I've been out in the March Winds. I had to hurry and didn't have time to. Oh, it's good. Her name was Lena. So sometimes. We'll call each other Lena, <laughs> like if it's a night and you can't sleep because you're going somewhere. I said, what's wrong, Lena? Can't you sleep? And Mama <laughs> said, no, I can't. I'm so excited. <laughs> or if I'm going somewhere, she'll say, Lena, can't you sleep? And I'll say, no. So that's our little fun way of remembering Granny. So, all right, Mama's going to go out and look at furniture and enjoy the sunlight. She ain't going to eat much pizza, are you, Mama? No. Well, folks, thank you for putting up with us. It's really good. Is it? Mm. You like veggies, don't you? Mm. I knew you'd like that. With no olives on your side. I knew that would be a kicker. You'd have to camouflage them with all that cheese before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to say goodbye, folks, and have a great night. Be blessed. Get out in the sunshine, if you have sunshine. Uh, I think we're going to have sunshine a couple of days, ain't we? Have rain tomorrow. Oh, rain to tomorrow. See. Pretty Saturday in Sunday, I think. Pretty Saturday. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mom will have a list. Say goodnight. Or does it say goodbye? Because you ain't going to bed now, are you?
I might. It's already 7 o'clock, 7 one or something. Say, In a little bit, I'm going to bed. Say, just say goodbye for now. Oh, instead goodbye of goodnight. for now, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night. Bye. Mm -hmm.